This is my worship. This is my offering. In every moment, I withhold nothing. I'm learning to trust you, even when I can't see it. And even in suffering, I have to believe it. If you say it's wrong, then I'll say no. If you say release, I'm letting go. If you say you're with me, I'll begin. And when you say to jump, I'm diving in. If you say be still, then I will wait. If you say to trust, I will obey. I don't took me further, further than I was asking, and simply to see you, it's worth it all, my life is an altar, let your fire fall, if you say it's wrong then I'll say no, if you say release I'm letting go If you're in it with me I'll begin and When you say to jump I'm diving in If you say be still Then I will wait If you say to trust I will obey Teach me how to follow In your way I'm done chasing feelings Spirit Say 
is wrong, then I'll say no. If you say release, I'm letting go. If you say it with me, I'll begin. And when you say to jump, I'm diving in. If you say be still, then I will wait. If you say to trust, I will obey. You're the only truth in life, the way I'm done chasing Love you, Holy Spirit. 
Welcome to Christ the Healer International Missions Movement Online Service. To get the best worship experience, we remind you of the following. Use the widest screen as possible. Make sure to have a loudspeaker to accommodate the viewers with you. Make sure to follow the government protocols, such as sanitation, social distancing, and wearing of masks. Participate in the preaching, take notes, and remove all the possible distractions. Be in your comfortable place and refrain from standing while preaching is ongoing. Encourage your family and friends to join the service with you. You can also share the service's link to your news feed and your friend's messenger. Lastly, set your mind, heart, and soul. Aim for a new and fresh revelation for today. Before we start our service, we will take you to a journey on how Christ the Healer International Missions Movement came to be. To start, we will give you a little trivia. Did you know that the church changed its name through the years? Well, we started out as Christ the Healer Community Church. Then, Christ the Healer Ministries International Incorporated. And finally, Christ the Healer International Missions Movement. Story time! A word family called Bishop Rod Kubus to pray over and heal a sick and dying man. Bishop came and challenged the man that if he lives, he must serve God all the rest of his life. Bishop placed a Bible on the man's chest and declared healing. The man got his miracle and lived. He then offered his building rooftop in Trading Boulevard to start a church. And that is the birth of Christ the Healer. A miracle started this whole movement. The name is not just a name, but a manifestation and evidence of God's miraculous power. Do you remember during your divine appointment? You were given a card with a powerful note of declaration. Well, that is not an accident. Our man of God received a card in the shape of a star from his divine appointment which was called Encountering God Weekend at the time. The star contained a prophecy that we will be a multitude. Now, it came to fruition and we are living in a fulfilled prophecy. Welcome to Christ the Healer International Missions Movement Online Service. To get the best worship experience, we remind you of the following. Use the widest screen as possible. Make sure to have a loudspeaker to accommodate the viewers with you. Make sure to follow the government protocols, such as sanitation, social distancing, and wearing of masks. Participate in the preaching, take notes, and remove all the possible distractions. Be in your comfortable place and refrain from standing while preaching is ongoing. Encourage your family and friends to join the service with you. You can also share the service's link to your news feed and your friend's messenger. Lastly, set your mind, heart, and soul. Aim for a new and fresh revelation for today. In the year 2009, a man of God responded to the call and gave birth to Christ the Healer International Missions Movement. It was rough in the beginning, but God raised up eight reliable leaders to support and run the vision. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 to 4, this is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to know the knowledge of the truth. This is the heartbeat of the church. So, how is God using Sitahim in these last days? Divine appointment. This is a turning point of all the leaders of the church. In three days, there is surrender, forgiveness, healing, transformation, and regeneration. We have seen countless of families restored, drug addicts changed, 
hopeless and depressed becoming the happiest people in the world. If it is your first time joining us, or if you have not joined the Divine Appointment yet, I encourage you, join the Holy Spirit University. After the Divine Appointment, the people will be equipped on how to face the world in the light of Christ. This university strengthens every believer in his decision to follow Christ. HSU is not like any regular university. A school transforms you into a full servant and warrior of God. House Churches We don't keep Jesus to our own. City Him is focused and determined to spread the Word of God and preach it to every soul. A house church is where an unbeliever, new believer, or just someone who is confused in the world to hear the Gospel of Jesus. It's where we build support, prayer, and friendship to everyone. Welcome to Christ the Healer International Missions Movement online service. To get the best worship experience, we remind you of the following. Use the widest screen as possible. Make sure to have a loudspeaker to accommodate the viewers with you. Make sure to follow the government protocols such as sanitation, social distancing, and wearing of masks. Participate in the preaching, take notes, and remove all the possible distractions. Be in your comfortable place and refrain from standing while preaching is ongoing. Encourage your family and friends to join the service with you. You can also share the service's link to your news feed and your friend's messenger. Lastly, set your mind, heart, and soul. Aim for a new and fresh revelation for today. Let us take a look back to the years where God led us from our small beginnings to the present.
ugon Niliyok di na huwag May sugon Buhaton ang tangan May kalikon Gikan ka ni mo We will remain faithful into the calling entrusted by Jesus to bear fruit and multiply for His greater glory, bringing transformation into this end-time generation. Moreover, one of the best sources of this church's growth is by listening and perceiving to every Sunday service revealed by the Holy Spirit. You are not here by accident because you are chosen and called by God for His greater purpose. Now, set your mind heart, soul, and spirit for God's Word today. Happy Sunday, everyone. Shalom.
and we glorify your name, Lord Jesus. Dawat ang umakasing-kasing, ang umapagdaig, di ang kanimo ginoo. Oh, hallelujah! Ang 
Revival morning sa inyong tanan diha sa matag usa ka panimbalay. Dalay gun ang Ginoo sa walay katapusan. Ani a ako karon, uh, it's a my privilege and opportunity nga magkita-kita na pud ta matag usa sa panimbalay and dalay gun ang Ginoo nga karon dili na man ni challenge sa ato ang tanan kay kultura na bang gyud ni nahimo ng lifestyle sa ato ang atong pagbalik sa kinasingkasing sa atong mga tights og ang paghatag sa atong investment diha sa ato uh, diha sa Ginoo and I declare nga ang matag usa na mahimo gyung faithful og padayon sa pag-ubay sa pagbalik sa inyo sa ato ang mga tights og paghatag sa ato ang mga offering kay naa ra one day ayaw ayaw kaluya og kakapoy sa pag-ubay kung ikaw naninood kung ikaw nagtarong sa paghatag naa na gyud ang one day sa imuhang kinabuhi kay sama sa kadaghana naka experience na og daghang milagro mga butang nga ginabuhat ang Ginoo sa asa ay lahang pagpaninuod sa paghatag sa tithes and offering kay nayo sa verse ako i-share sa inyo sa panultihon 8:21 gihimo na kung dato ang nahigugma kanako klaro kayo ikaw ug ako himo ang yung dato sa Ginoo kay na ang kasing-kasing pag ikaw nahigugma sa Ginoo mutuman gyud ka sa sugo sa Ginoo and na pa og gipuno ko sa mga bahandi ang ilang panimalay haleluya kanang imong balay karon nga gitungtungan kanang balay nga imong gi gigamit karon sa simbalay mapuno na og bahandi og kana nga panimalay di gyud na makabsan sa tanang panalangin og tanang nga gikinahanglan ni ana nga panimalay og labi na nga ikaw nga nagmatinumanon og nagpadayon sa pag-ubay pag tinarong lang yun, isa lang yun ang ako ni challenge sa inyo ha. Pagtarong sa imuhang pag pagbalik sa imong ikanapulo o pag-invest sa imong offering. Amen. Kaya dalay ko ng Ginoo, matago sa ato ang maka-experience niya sa kadato nga gitugyan sa Ginoo sa ato makinabuhi. So andam na ba na ang imuhang uh, ang imuhang tithes and offering sa pagbalik diha sa Ginoo? Okay, andam na o ihatag nga naay malipayon niya kasing-kasing. Ang tibuok niya itutulog Dalunta ang unang bunga sa kahago Dalunta ang halag uban ang gugma kaniya Sa giharian, may kausuagan Sa kalibutan, may katagbawan Suwari maghatag pilit ba ang ganghaan Sa langit abrihan Panalangin maangkon Sa aking harian May kausuagan Sa kalibutan May katagbawan Suwali maghatag Piling pa ang ganghaan Sa langit abrihan Panalangin maangkon Extend our hands and declare these seven folds of declaration. Ready? Go. I and my family will have an open heaven life. Blessing so great, I and my family can't contain. I and my family will have super abundant crops. I and my family are well guarded. I and my family will live in good health. Nothing will be wasted in my life and in the life of my family. My life and my family are such a delight. And nations will call us blessed and prosperous. Let us pray. Yes, Lord, Father God in heaven, in the name of Jesus, as I apply your blood, Lord God, ni ini ng mga faithful sa pagbalik sa ilang tithes and offering. Let your blood, ginoo, mga musilyo ni ini ng mga obedient na kasing-kasing ginoo. And will transform, Lord God, ni ini ng obedient into... Uh, supernatural provision sa matag usa ka kinabuhi Gino. and right now Lord God I bind and blind all the works of the enemy even the spirit of mammon 
Ako na ginarender nga powerless and I command every spirit, Lord God, to go to the abyss in Jesus' mighty name. Salamat kayo, Lord God, ang matag-usa, maka-experience, Lord, sa pinasahi nga panalangin, even a revival spirit, Lord, sa matag-usa ka mga leaders, Ginoo. Dalaygon ka, Lord, continue to bless every house, churches, Ginoo, Lord God, nga girepresentahan, nga naghatag sa ilang mga tithes and offering, O God. Dalaygon ka, we worship you, O God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Once again, good morning everyone. In review, at the beginning of the seven years of tribulation, Satan or Satan's Messiah will make a treaty with Israel that will endure their national or ensure their national security and allow them to rebuild the temple based on the book of Daniel chapter 9, 27. Here, our God Almighty will restore, destroy these invading armies, killing five out of six combatants, demonstrating to the world that He is the mighty shield of Israel. Nini nga panahon sa Battle of Armageddon, makita o portray sa ginoo ang iyahang kasuko, tali sa katawhan o mga nasod nga diin uh, naghatag o oppression sa land of Israel. Here ato makita ang pulong sa Dios, uh, the one true God, nga mao ang gialagaran ni Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. After the Antichrist break his treaty with the Jewish people, he will take over Jerusalem and establish the throne of the Abel Empire in the Third Temple. With the help of the false prophet, which is makabaluta nga mao ni karon ang paminawan sa katauhan, nga mao ang nagahatag or nai authority nga ginatuhuan even ka even until now sa katawhan sa kalibutan mao siya ang mga orchestrate mo hatag og support sa antichrist again the antichrist represent as political leader and siya ang gabiton sa gitawag the false prophet nga diin maghatag og order dahil sa chaos or maingon ta nga adunay kagubot o kaguliang sa kalibutan siya ang magdeclare Og kalinaw. And sumala sa pulong sa ginoo, madisip ang katawahan tungkol king ano man, uh, mugowed man ang iyang words because na ay nag-behind lagi siya. Kung unsa man ang kagubot o kagulihan, karo na agi behind ni ini. Adun ay mga naga-orchestrate o gitawag ni social drama. Here ato makita, the armies of the king, kung tanaw ni mo ang gera sa battle of Armageddon, the armies of the king of the west, representing a bus al military armada and the king of the east nga mao ang china and its allies with an army of 200 million will march down the dry river bed of euphrates to reach israel on the battlefield of valley of jezreel so kung imong tan awning 200 million unsa ka baga nga mga military forces ang mo invade sa land of israel here they will face off in the mother of all wars for world war or war for world domination when the kings of the West and East battle for global supremacy, the war ends not with an invasion from the North or invasion from the South, from the East or West, but with an invasion from heaven. Kini nga gira, mo orchestrate ang ginoo, o mga anghel sa kalangitan mo baba, aron makikaway sa katawhan sa kalibutan. Nga nagakalaban, naga, 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 uh, oppress sa katawhan sa Israel. Jesus Christ, the rabbi from Nazareth, will return to earth riding on a magnificent white horse, ushering in the final triumph over the enemies of Israel. The army riding with him, the church of Jesus Christ, and the Old Testament saint will be mounted on white horses and clothed in pure white linen. In other words, ang mga katawhan nga diin na rapture, nga may experience of rapture of the church, after the marriage supper of the Lamb, after the awarding, mubaba uban sa ato ginoo Jesus Christo, the Church of Jesus Christ, and His saint will be mounted on white horses and clothed in pure white linen. This massive army, traveling faster than the speed of light. Hallelujah. Imagine ka unsang klase ni nga army, mga glorified body ang mubaba from heaven. This is what we call the invasion of heaven. Okay, traveling faster than the speed of light through space and time will fly over Petra 
where the hand of God has protected the Jewish people from the Antichrist. They will see the city of Jerusalem. They will look on Mount Calvary where our Redeemer died for the sins of the world. They will see the Mount of Olives where Christ will rule the earth with a rod of iron at, as He established the final kingdom that shall never pass away. So ato ning makita nga diin ang gingharian niya isit up sa Ginoo will never pass away. It is here that Jesus Christ slaughters the combatants of Armageddon until the blood flow to the bridle of a horse. In other words, ang ang dugo nga mubanaw in Jerusalem in Israel muabot sa 5 feet sama sa katason sa gibarugan sa kabayo. Og ato makita once again, the defender of Israel fulfilled the promise that he that, that he who keeps Israel neither slumber nor sleep. Ato makita ang fulfillment sa pulong sa ginoong promisa sa Dios. Alang si ang kanakan o katawhan. Now, we will discuss about the second coming of Christ. John records the amazing revelation of the second coming with the words, Now I saw heaven open. When translated in Greek, this phrase literally means that when Christ returned to earth, this gateway from heaven will open and will remain open for all eternity. Power kaayo. Ang makita ni mo na sa second coming di ay pag maabli na ang langit, abli na na from all eternity. Dili na mo close. Dili na mahimong close open, always open. Amen. It reminds us of Jacob's ladder with the angels ascending into heaven and descending to earth ato as, as well. So ato makita the same. The question, how long will it take to go from heaven to earth and back again? in our supernatural bodies. According to the length of Daniel's prayer, it will only be a matter of seconds according to Daniel chapter 9 and verses 20 to 23. Now, while I was speaking, praying, and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel, presenting my supplication before the Lord my God for the holy mountain of my God, yes, while I was speaking in prayer, the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, reached me. At the beginning of your supplication, the command went out, and I have come to tell you, for you are greatly beloved or greatly blessed. So, ato makita, speed of sound. In a twinkling of an eye, in an ana ka paspas, kung na ana ka sa imong supernatural body. And dalay gun ang Dios. The scriptures are replaced and offering the purposes of Christ's return to earth. He will come to first fulfill His promises. Mubalik ang ginoo tungod sa iyang pagtuman sa iyang mga pulong. Gather and restore His people, those people nga diin na bilhin sa rapture of the church, even the, the Jewish people. Number three, judge the nation for their wickedness. That's why naigitawag judgment of the living nation. And number four, resurrect the dead who refuse to, to receive or who refused the mark of the beast? Ato makita ang tanan nga dili magpatatak sa 666. Tanan pagaputlan og liog. Og mauni ang banhaw ni ini nga panahon sa pagbalik sa atong Ginoo Hesus Kristo. Next is about righteous judge. Our Lord is a righteous judge, victorious warrior and Lord of Lords. The apostle John who was an eyewitness to Christ's ascension records his triumphant return. Again, in Revelation chapter 19, 11 to 16, Now I saw heaven open and behold, a white horse. Nakita niya ang puting gabayo. O naglingkod ni ini, gitawag faithful and true. O sa pagkamatarong siya magahukom o making gera. His eyes were like a flame of fire. Ang iyang mga mata daw, uh, gasiga ng kalayo. Og ang iyang mga ulo, og iyang ulo adunay daghang mga corona. He had a name. Og nga siya lay nakabalo, na si pangalan nga siya lay nakabalo. Og siya, he was clothed with a robe deep in blood. Og ang iyang pangalan gitawag the word of God. Og ang mga armies in heaven, the saint clothed in white fine linen, white and clean, nagasunod on white horses. Nagasunod kaniya. Now, out of his mouth goes a sharp sword. In other words, sa iyang mga bakbak, gagawas ang uh, ispadang duhay sulab na mo iyang gabiton pag strike the nation. And he himself will rule them with the rod, with a rod 
of iron. Ug siya mismo mo imo tamak-tamak no wine press, he himself treads the wine press of the firstness and wrath of the Almighty God and he has on his robe and on his tie a name written King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Ato makita. Sa second coming, uban ang mga anghel sa kalangitan ug ang gitawag katawhan sa Dios, the saint nga nadala sa rapture of the church. Even the people, the saint of the Old Testament, mubaba uban ang atong Ginoong Kristo. Right after the marriage supper of the Lamb, mubaba ug mo judge sa mga kanasuran. Mga kanasuran nga diin nagreject sa pulong sa Dios. Most specifically the Arab words. Mga tao nga diin wala nagatuo sa pagkaginoo ug pagkadios kag Ginoong Hesus Kristo. Pagipagahukman kini silang tanan. Christ's possession on a white horse signifies his conquest in battle. He is the first conqueror over death, hell and grave. Second, he is the conqueror of Satan and his able empire and all the enemies of Israel. Jesus appears in the scriptural setting as ultimate judge, warrior, and Lord of Lords. Ato makita ni ini nga set up sa pulong sa Dios ato makita nga atong Ginoo siya gyud ang maghuhukom sa tanan. Siya ang gitawag warrior and Lord of Lords. His judgment is indicated by his eyes like a flame of fire and he is bearing many crowns declaring his absolute power and kingship. And salamat og dalay gud ang Dios. Nga kini nga mga butang napadayag ganhi kanato. Ato makita about sa life sa revealer na si John. Iyang nakita ni nga scenario. Next is about a room deep in blood. Ang room ang sanina sa atong Ginoo Kristo ni ini nga panahon na lukop sa dugo. Having been in the ministry ato makita kita nga ni ani ni nga ministeryo sa pulong sa Ginoo do sa akong pagkinabuhi ug pagalagad. Niabot na ko sa 28 years sa pagserbisyo diha sa Ginoo. Daghang kong natun-an about the book of Revelation. Daghang kong nadungog ug daghang kong nabasa about apocalyptic events. But salamat sa Dios nga adunay understanding nga yang gihatag aron na kini nga mga pulong mapadayag ngadto sa uban. Ato makita sumala sa pulong sa Ginoo. Here in Revelation 9:13 he was clothed with a robe with a robe deep in blood. Explain in many ways. However, ato makita even in the book of Isaiah account, unsi gisulti din he, who is this who comes from Edom? We died garments from Bosra. This one who is glorious in his apparel, troubling in the greatness of his strength. So ato makita ang sitwasyon ng scenario sa is sa book of Revelation chapter 19. Nakita even in Isaiah, even ni prophet Isaiah. Then the answer was given. Isaiah 63 verse 1 to 4. I who speak in righteousness, mighty to say, Why is your apparel red and your garment like one who treads in the winepress? I have trodden the winepress alone and from the people no one was with me. For I have trodden them in my anger and trampled them in my fury. Their blood is sprinkled upon my garment and I have stained all my robes. And I, uh, and I have stained all my robes. For the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeem has come. So ato makita nga kini gi prophesy long long time ago. Even in the major prophets ato makita nga gisulti ning daan ang mahitabo in this end of days. Not only in the book of Revelation but even in the major prophets gipadayag kung unsa ang posibleng mahitabo ni ning katapusan sa kapanahonan. And salamat sa Ginoo. Nga wala ni niya gitago iyan ning gipadayag sa iyang mga alagad the prophet When we think of Jesus, we do not consider him as Ben's fall. His death on the cross was not an act of retribution, but one of absolution of love. So din hato makita ng kamatayan sa tungin ni Kristo din sa cross. Dili dili niya basta kay kamatayon lang ngadi inagbayad siya sa iyang kalapasan kung dili nagbayad ni sa atong kalapasan o dili ni sa iyang pagpanimalos o nga diin siya mauniin gibuhatong but 
ang word nga gigamit but was not an act of retribution dili ni uh, act of retribution but one of absolution and love giportray sa Ginoo kung unsa iyang gugma sa katawhan that's why during that time even naa sa sa cross of calvary miingon siya father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing and the like gun ang dios ni ini nga mga butang nga iyang gisulti nga ni kanato he forgive the thief who died next to him and even on on behalf of those guilty of his crucifixion he pleaded nga pasayloon ang mga tao sa pagbuhat ni ini Jesus Christ forgive the Romans who entered into a Calvary conspiracy to kill him. Iyang gipasaylo katong Roman nga miapil sa conspiracy. Even forgive the handful of Pharisees in Pilate's courtyard who hated him. Naalang kasing-kasing nga mapasaylo on. Dalaygon ang Dios. However, the Lord's righteous anger against Israel's enemies will not be contained. What Isaiah is describing is the greatest destruction that earth will ever see. So na ay greatest destruction yung nakita si Prophet Isaiah nga mahitabo sa planet Earth. Ato makita, millions will be destroyed at Armageddon. The one who treads the wine press with his garment splattered or splattered and soaked in crimson blood in the description of God's day of vengeance upon the adversary of Israel. Now think of it. Unsa may tabo sa gitawag Battle of Armageddon. Habang likusan ang Israel sa katauhan nga nagdumot kaniya mga nasod nga nagreject sa Ginoo, led by the King of the North. Ato makita sa dihang tabangan ang nasod sa Israel, ang Ginoo mupakanaog sa iyang hukom. Ang ang iyang kapungot iyang ipakita ngadto sa mga nasod nga king away siyang piniling katauhan. Ato makita nga ang atong Ginoong Isokristo mismo ang manimalos alang sa iyang katauhan. Muna kini mga tao nga naghahat ng oppression of the land. Mga tao nga nagatwi sa pulong sa Ginoo. Mga tao nga wala nagtuo sa pulong sa Ginoo. Mga tao nga bospol sa ilang position karon. Mga tao nga nagsalig sa ilahang power karon. One day. Nasilay one day. Ang Diyos may muhukom sa mga tao nga nagbuhat o kalapasan o kasalanan. Ato makita, the word next is the wine press. Kanibang pug-anan, sabi saya pa. Kung nakakita mo wine press, kung, kung grapes, iagi o wine press, makita ni mo, ibutang ni sa usaka, usaka i-contain in one place, din tamak-tamak ka ni. Sa traditional nga pamangi, tamak-tamak ka ni, dito magsayaw, then ang katas ni ini, maoy kwaon o maoy ginainom. Then, ato makita the word wine press. So, grabe yun ang pressing. Grabe. Then, makita ito, Revelation chapter 14, in Yundari, and another angel came out from the altar who had the power over fire and he cried with a loud voice to him who had a sharp sickle saying, Trust in your sharp sickle and gather the cluster of the vine of the earth for her grapes are fully ripe. So, gimanduan sa anghel ang usaka anghel sa pag- Gamit sa iyang garab, word garab, shikel, okay? sharp shikel, garab. Kay nga no daw, para kay ripe na ang harbisonon. So the angel thrust his shikel into the earth and gathered the wine or the vine of the earth and threw it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trampled outside the city and the blood came out of the winepress up to the horse bridle for 1,600 forlongs. Now, ato makita nga laong ang dugo, five feet in our measurement. Ang gilaw mo sa dugo nga mubanaw. So, makita ni mong sa kabagang panun sa katawhan o army ang mga matay ni nga panahon. Gani, adunay, adunay number nga gibutan it, more than 20 million. Mao ni ang mga tao nga mo-invade sa Israel. John sees the armies of the Antichrist surrounding the city of Jerusalem. They are clusters of vine which are fully ripe. Hallelujah. What they don't realize, <coughs> ang wala nila na-realize, that God is waiting for them. Every commander and every soldier in the army is about to experience the winepress of God 
in his version, the grapes of wrath. The prophet Zechariah declared, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, or in other words, the day of judgment, when I will gather the nation, all the nation against Jerusalem to battle and fight against those nations. So, ato makita nga ang Israel, likusan yun, ang Israel, libutan yun siya bagang panun sa mga kasodaluhan nga di inasoko kaniya. Ato makita, even in the minor prophet, si Karaya is a minor prophet, ato makita, unsa ang sitwasyon. King David spoke of God's protection over his people. In Psalms 1-2-5, verse 2, As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surround his people, the Jewish people, from this time forth and forever. So, ato makita ang protection sa Diyos yung katawan. Kung ang Jerusalem gilibutan o mga kabukiran, igunana po daw ang pag-surround sa Gino sa iyang katawan. Igunana po daw ang pag sa Diyos sa iyang katawan na nagtuman sa iyang kabubuton. Moses prophesied that the hand of God will annihilate the invading armies of Israel. So, kini mga invaders one day, i-annihilate yun sa Gino. I-wipe out yun sa Gino mga invaders. Realidad ni, in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 43, For he will avenge the blood of his servant, and the render vengeance of his adversaries. He will provide atonement for his land and his people. So, ang mga dugo sa enemies of the land, ang mga dugo sa katawan, sa mga kasodaluhan, mo'y mahimong atonement ni ini nga panahon. And the ligon ang Diyos, in the battle of Armageddon, will be God's retribution and those who have sought to destroy the Jewish people. Katong mga tao nga nangandoy dangitag pamaagi o saon pag-destroy ang katawan sa Israel, nini nga panahon, makadawat sila sa gitawa God's retribution. Hallelujah. It is important for Christians to comprehend the depths of God's love for the Jews who have suffered so much for their steadfast faith in Him. God called Israel, My son, my Firstborn. The Jews are his chosen. They are a covenant people. They are a cherished people. God chose the nation of Israel to provide the source of divine truth through Israel. The Almighty God or the Almighty gave mankind his sacred word. The patriarchs, the prophets, and our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. Because Satan hates what God establishes. The spirit of anti-Semitism has prevailed through the ages in an effort to destroy the scarlet thread of redemption. Even today, makita niyo in the street of in the street of New York, in the street of Paris, in London, makita niyo. Grabe kining group ginatawag nga anti-Semitism, anti kalaban sa people of Israel, tingala ka na mahibuan ng usa ka Jew, muagi, tabangan nila, ingin na lang hidabuhat. But one day, kini nga klase ng mga tao na nagahatag, nagaopress, nagdaugdaog sa katawan sa Israel, mo, mo, mo dawat sa hukom na ipakanaog sa gino. God made mankind this promise concerning the Jewish people. O sige, sulti sa Genesis 12 verse 3, I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curses you. God will call the basher. Uh, the bastard. The bastard. The bastard. Of the earth to consume the bloated corpse of the armies that come against his people. Imagine ka, bloated, kumbaga, namurot na ang mga lawas. Their lifeless bodies will stretch across. Of course, yan tama matay, di ba? After few hours, buburot man. Imagine ka, God will call the basher or the bastard of the earth to consume the bloated corpse of the armies that come against his people. Their lifeless bodies will stretch across the great span of Armageddon's battlefield. Imagine ka, pila ka million, mga tao, mga matay, mga tao nga ni-invade sa land of Israel, mamburot ang ilang mga lawas, Kaya walay bulubong kanila. Imagine ka, will stretch across the great span of the Armageddon's battlefield. This is a testimonial of God's ultimate fury on the nation of the world who persecuted the nation of Israel. 
So, kini mga nasun karon nga nagapersecute sa Israel. Mahimun is silang bloated corpse that will stretch across the great span of Armageddon's battlefield. Their bodies, their, their, the bodies of kings, captains, commoners, and horses will become a banquet for the birds of prey fulfilling the prophecy of Jesus. Unsig isulti sa Mateo, for wherever the carcass is, there will be eagles be gathered together. Or, yes. So, ato makita, why is God doing this? He answered this question in Ezekiel. Tanawa unsig isulti sa Ezekiel. So, the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord their God from that day forward. And I will not hide my face from them anymore. For I shall have poured out my spirit on the house of Israel, says the Lord God. Hallelujah. And the lie gun ang Dios. Siya ang manimalos. Siya ang manimalos sa pagdaog-daog sa katawahan o ganasuran. Siya ang manimalos alang sa mga taong dinaog-daog. Mga taong gilapasan sa katungod, gikuwaan sa katungod. Ang Dios sa langit mo'y mahimalos. Kamo nga nagbuhat og daotan mga tawo nga naglapas sa balaod sa Dios. Ang Dios ang manimalos kaninyo. Next is about the authority of God's word. Christ mounted on his white horse circle over the battlefield of Armageddon with a heavenly host. He opened his mouth and goes a sharp sword that with it he should strike the nation. So atong gid Jesus Cristo mismo ang makig-away alang sa iyang katawhan. Bugawas gikan kaniya ang spadang hait pa sa duhay sulab ug mauni ang iyang gabiton to strike the nation. The spoken word of God based on the will of God is an awesome force. The Bible says that Jesus will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Kinita ng mga tao nga diin ni atake sa land of Israel. Lord, our Lord God will destroy them by the brightness of His coming. The light good, ang Dios sa langit. In the beginning, it was the authority of God's word that created the heavens and the earth. It was the authority of Jesus' spoken word that He healed the sick, raised the dead, and caused demons to tremble. And for the grand finale, say it with me, for the grand finale, it will be the awesome power of God's spoken word that will utterly destroy the armies of the Antichrist and of the kings of all the earth. The Ligon ang Dios sa langit. Amen! Nay one day, karon makita man nato grabe ang oppression, makita nato ang kamot sa yawa, makita nato ang kamot sa Antichrist na nag move in a mighty way. They are oppressing us, but one day, they will be judged. Next is about the 75-day interval. Unsan ning 75-day interval? According to the prophet Daniel, there is a literal 75-day interval between, listen, the second coming of Christ and the official inauguration of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So, na ay gitawag celebration or gitawag Inauguration of the kingdom of God. 75 days. In other words, after, Kano saan mahita mo? Literally, between the second coming of Christ and the official inauguration. Daniel explained this gap in time. Daniel chapter 12, verse 11 to 12. And from the time that the daily sacrifice is taken away, kisay mo kuha sa daily sacrifice, Kisay magpatangtang, the Antichrist. And the abomination of desolation is set up. There shall be 1,290 days. Blessed is who waits and comes to the 1,335 days. So, unsan na nangihitap From 1,260 days to 1,300 days. 35 days. Unsa gani nang 1260 days? Three and a half years. Nakuha? Then bulahan daw tong nagpaabot nga mahuman ang gitawag 1335 days. In other words, in Revelation 11:3 states that I will give 
ato makita unsa dili nga sitwasyon ni eh? I will give power to the two witnesses and they will prophesy for 1260 days cloth in sackcloth so the difference between listen 1350 days and 1260 days kay bulahan daw to nagpaabot sa kahumanan sa 1335 okay then ang two witnesses kita gag authority and power for 1 to 60 days diba and makes up pila interval ali 75 interval between the end listen the end of the tribulation and Christ's return to the mount of olive which means the official beginning of the millennial age so imo na masabtan nga mag-start ang millennial reign tanawa na asa mag-start Ang great, the wrath of God is 1, 2, 60 days. Bulag pa siya o 1, 3, 3, 5. In other words, na 75 days. From that point, from the tribulation and Christ's return, sa second coming, nakabalo ka sa 75 days, inauguration sa millennial reign. Celebration. Kita niyo ang beauty? Second coming! Pinatyanay. Kung sabihin mo, sikit kami, battle of Armageddon. Tanan niya mga nasod. Why mabilin? Tanan, patay. Mga kings, captain, generals. After sa killing, sa great tribulation, ang kaling gitawag, the battle of Armageddon, pagkahuman ani mo agi o gitawag, judgment of the living nation to enter into the millennial reign. Na ay great inauguration na mahitabo in the planet. Celebration, hallelujah. Salamat sa Diyos. Nay one day. Nay one day. Ato makita. So what will happen in those 75 days? Sa pa ilang buhaton? Do na ay mga celebration ng pagbuhaton. There's no exact timeline. However, somewhere during this 75 period, it is clear that the Lord is getting Israel house in order. So is it up sa ginoo ang house of Israel? He will remove the abomination and desolation from the temple. Katong gisit up sa Antichrist, ang tangon to. He will cast the Antichrist and the false prophet alive into the lake of fire. Dalaygun ang Dios. He will bind Satan and cast him into the bottomless pit. He will execute judgment of the Gentiles. Kinsa nga Gentiles? Katong mga nag-reject. Kina may judgment of the living nation. Katong nag-reject, imperno. Kinsa ni sila? Makita na to ang mga nasod nga nag-reject sa atong Ginoong Kristo. The tribulation saint will be resurrected. Kinsa ni sila? Kato ni mga saint nga di naputon og liog kay wa midaot sa number sa 666. In some other ato makita daw na yun sila nga na Old Testament saint will be resurrected sa ako dili. Why? Ang old saint na resurrect na during sa rapture. Nakuha. Naguna na silang gibanhaw bago kita. So, dili sila ang mabanhaw ni nga panahon. Ang banhaon karon ron, katulang ipangpatay during sa Great Tribulation. Then, nasa lang gidugang diri, the married feast of the Lamb will take place. No. Ang married supper of the Lamb, mahitabo after crowning, after the judgment set of Christ, then the married supper of the Lamb. Sikan kaming nani, we are about to enter into the millennial reign. Walay feasting diri. Walay married supper. Kundili inauguration pag set up sa millennial reign. Clear? Nasabda na to. Amen. Next is about earth last empire. Bible scholar John Philip beautifully described the next steps into the final game of thrones. So kinsa man gyud, ato ni tan-aw. Kinsa man gyud ang mo enjoy sa gitaw earth last empire. Daghang empire. Na may nahitabo nga Babylonian, na may Grace Empire na may Persian Empire, na may Roman Empire. But here, the last earth empire. The remnant of the Jews and the redeemed of the Jews and the redeemed from among the Gentiles will go into the millennial kingdom. This is the earth last empire. Amen! The nucleus of the new kingdom. The millennial kingdom will be worth waiting for. Hallelujah. And salamat og dalaygon ang Dios. Ganiini nga papaagi. That's why our next topic is about the millennial reign. So, niini nga panahon. Ato masamdan nga kita ang mo-experience sa earth last empire. 
Atong i-enjoy for 1,000 years. Atong i-celebrate ato ni siya and we will rule with a rod of iron. Nini nga panahon. And salamat og dalay gud ang Dios. Kining tanang ng mga commotion kar makita nato in the Middle East. Nga nagprepare ang Russia, nagprepare ang ang Iran, ang Turkey nagprepare. Ang Arab world nagprepare. The same is true the king of the east even in China nagprepare to invade the land of Israel. But God is waiting them there. Ang Dios nagpaabot kanila nga musulod sila dito sa perimeter line and God will execute his judgment to the invaders of the land. And the like gun ang Dios nga kita nga nagtuon about the apocalyptic events atong masabtan ang dagan sa panahon. Wala ta nang alagad nga burag suntok sa buwan wa tay kalibutan unsay what will happen next kung dili kabaluta sa moving. Kabaluta sa mahitabo nini nga panahon. And salamat og dalay gun ang Dios. Nga nagahatag ka nato sa kaalam og kahibalo sa pagsabot ni ining tanan. Mga pagsulay nga atong giyagaan mulabay lang. But ato ning i-anticipate. That's why importante masamta nato. I-monitor ang movement karon sa Middle East. I-monitor karon unsay nahitabo sa Jerusalem. Unsay nahitabo sa Israel. Then atong paminawan og atong i-observe ang gisulti sa atong inisukreso in the look in in the book of Luke chapter 21 that when you see these things happening clear ang scripture flee to the mountain kung makita nato ni nga mga butang nga manghitabo na flee to the mountain those who are in the city flee to the mountain those who are in the country do not enter into the city those who are in the city flee to the mountain how dreadful it will be for nursing women and or pregnant women and nursing mother. This is a time of the fulfillment of the retribution of God. This is a time of the fulfillment of the judgment nga ipakanaog sa Dios sa kalibutan. Tanan nga nagahatag og oppression, ipagajudge sa Ginoo. And the laygon ang Dios. Alang kanimo nga mudaog. Alang kanimo nga mulahutay, alang kanimo nga mubuhat sa kabubuton sa Dios. Dili ka muagi nining great tribulation. Ko dili mo experience ka sa rapture of the church. Kung sakaling di man ka madala sa rapture of the church, mo pabilin ka man din he, paningkamot nga dili ka mamarkahan sa number sa 666, aron ka muabot. And that's why important nga mo fly to the mountain, aron dili ka maabdan sa buhat sa Antichrist nga pugson ang tanan sa pagpatatak sa number sa 666. You cannot buy or sell without the number. And dalay ko ng Diyos. Maninog ta sa pag-ampo. Oh, Rabbi Ascende, Sika Rabbi Ascende. Oh, Sika Rabbi Ascende. Oh, Rabbi Ascende, Sika Rabbi Ascende. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your promises. We thank you for the strength that you have given to us in time of tough times, hard times. We thank you, Lord. Lord, through the message of the song, inspire us. Give us encouragement and empowerment, Lord. Give us strength, Lord, to surmount all the challenges in life. The laygun ka, O Diyos. Hurabay ascende. Hurabay ascende, si karabay ascende. Let us run the race, not only for the prize, but as those who have before us Lay the tools behind us. Oh, Rabbi Yassendi. Oh, Rabbi Yassendi. Who seek a Rabbi Yassendi? All who come behind us find us faithful. Lead a fire of our devotions. Light your way. May the footprints that we leave lead them to believe, and the life we live inside them to bear. Oh, me, all who come behind us, find us faithful. Yes, Lord. Himo ang mga kinabuhi ng mga classic example o gan in this end of days. Salamat, O Lord, through a good fight of faith, Lord God. 
Ang amo mga testimony imo pagagamiton. We thank you for the strength that you have given to us. And Lord, Must fight. Oh, we all who come behind us fight us faithful. The fire of our devotion light their way. May the footprints that we leave lead him to believe, and the lives we live. Inspired them to obey. Oh, be all who come behind us, find us faithful. Be the fire of our devotions, light the way. May the footprints that we leave lead them to believe. And the lights will win, inspired to obey. Oh, be all who come behind us, find us faithful. Oh, be all who come behind us, find us faithful. Yes, Lord. Yes, oh God. As I declare the priestly blessing, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you shalom. Nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. Great wealth and favor of the Lord be yours. And God's people say, Amen and Amen. Shalom, people of God. Just for
what you do. 